All right, guys, we are Sunday night. We're at the Mercedes dealer. Kind of just fell in love with this right here. Sprinter van, crew. It's got five seats, five passengers. And uh, we just went in, did, went over all the paperwork, applied for credit Sunday night, so they don't have a credit department open, but oh, it's not cheap. It's kind of expensive, but I think we might do it. Look at it, I just wanted to show you around. Uh, we'll pick this video up tomorrow when I get the call, and uh, we might be buying this tomorrow. All right, it is uh, Tuesday, uh, just about, it's about 11 o'clock, right? Yeah. That's when our appointment is here at the Mercedes dealer. It's a nice dealership. Um, it's right here in Pleasanton, not far from our house. Big day for Jack Chestnut. It's a big day. I actually woke up at four this morning and I couldn't go back to sleep because I'm just a little bit nervous. It's a big investment for us, so I don't take it lightly. It's like a kid at Christmas. Uh, but I am excited. I'm excited about the car because it's, it's a really nice car and uh our van it's not really a car it's a van but i'm excited about it because it's it's nice it's luxurious i mean it's mm -hmm. well, about as cool good as it gets is we can go on trips with the kids because of the seat yeah and we can go on picking trips if we want to go well, that's what i was going to say go i'm back. mostly excited about the opportunities it's going to bring up for us yeah travel with the kids for the business which i think is going to be really exciting yeah and also how it's going to change the business. You We're know? investing in it so we can bring more cool stories for you. And maybe cool stories all over the United States, not just necessarily the Bay Area. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see about that. All right. That's the plan anyways. Yeah. There it is. It's so pretty. It's, it is very, very nice. It's Could be. Okay, Locker Nuts. We're here at the dealership. And Jack's finally pulled pulled the trigger here for the locker nuts. Over a year of deciding what kind of van he wants, he finally broke down and got it. So I'm going to show it to you right now. Look, he's in there. Come to the check it out, baby. Is that not super, super, super cool, right? It's silver. He's in there right now getting the. Uh, manual all the details of everything for this guy there's the wheels dude this is gonna really change things for him as far as being able to store and have things covered and um, hit the road and do some cool things so and always back up one thing here this is where you can you know load the apps and all the stuff once you get connected uh -huh. once I go in um, and it's going to be whatever email that we're it's so pretty and it's a really cool silver all right look at that we, we're matching dorks with our hats no 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 dorky they're heck cool <laughs> they're cool uh they were free so yeah when you buy an expensive mercedes and you twist their arm which Gianna did then you get free hats mm -hmm. <laughs> otherwise you only get a keychain i can't believe that but yeah, me um i just got a very in-depth tutorial on how to work all the technology in this thing which is pretty extensive there's a lot to this it's got tons of options he's pointing out all these things it's like option 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 this van is very well loaded like not with everything but almost everything you can get on one That's awesome. and uh the back. it's nice well we'll go home and we'll do a more in-depth here yeah. but anyways um about to drive it home it's very exciting yeah it's uh it's almost a little surreal because this is so nice this will be the nicest and most expensive car i've ever bought all right this is our first official use of the <laughs> van <laughs> packages going to ups and fedex we'd be doing a, um, a video but uh it started raining like as soon as we got home so i'm gonna wait to do like a real video uh introduction to this pretty sweet van right here i was loving it yeah but you can't touch the roof it's so tall yeah, now. Just barely, huh? It's like it's like half a centimeter away. <laughs> that is really funny. I could like just. Where right, FedEx Jam is dropping off an eBay sale. You could do like a ballet performance back there. I could just sleep in here, like. Totally, we could put a like a queen size inflatable mattress back there. Yeah, just 
we and still have room for our bags and stuff. We could install the TV like up here. Yeah, we could. And then like we could just be watching it. Yep. All right, guys, it's time. Let's take a tour of the van. Let me show you some of the features that I just love about this thing. And I'll point out a couple things that maybe I don't love so much. If you're thinking about getting a van, I'll, I'll tell you, you know, some things to consider about this particular model. This is Sunday. I bought it on Tuesday, so I've had it quite a few days now to to enjoy it, um, experience it, and get to know it a little better. And I'm liking it. I am liking it. All right, we've taken two trips to the flea market in this van and emptied one unit. And you're going to see those videos here coming up. Uh, yeah, I've videoed everything basically. So, um, but let me show you the, so obviously the doors in the back here, they open this open very easily. Actually. I love this little, this little right here. You just pull on it. Basically and it opens up. We got a little bit of storage here. Let me flip this camera around. I'll show you a little closer. All right. Yeah. This thing very, very easy. We do have a little bit of storage in the door. Okay. And there you see, I've got some rope and a bungee and that's so I can strap stuff down inside. God. It's got so much space in it. And just to let you know, there's a couple of scratches and things here that weren't there when I bought it. Um, like I said, we've been using it. So you got this nice little step stool right here. We do have a plug for our trailer, but no trailer hitch. Ah, they didn't get that option on there. So that's something that I do want to add. Uh, one thing that I like right here, we've got a couple of handles, accessibility handles, one on each side. All right, and I do use those because I'm a little bit shorter. So here you see, the inside, um, down here, just bare metal. We do have a floor put in, a nice finished floor. Sometimes there's just bare metal there also, but not a lot to it. But up above, we do have the nice ceiling. So it gets you a little bit of insulation, probably good for when the sun's beating down on it. It keeps it a little bit cooler. Um, but then the feature I love is these LED lights. Very, very, very handy, all right? L lights it up very nicely inside but not a whole bunch in here. Um, you see the tie downs here. We got lots of little loops there that we can tie down. All right, was that eight? However, there's none up here. Dang it, none up here. I'm not sure what the thinking was there. Here's the back and uh, yeah, like I said, tremendous amount of room here. Look at this. I think the clearance here is uh, six feet, three inches. All right, so a six foot two guy could stand in here pretty comfortably. I'm nowhere near that. So for me, <laughs> I'm not jumping that high, but uh, no, no fear, right? I mean, arm up, I can, I can touch it, but it's, it's got really nice clearance. For one, that's great because the other night I was actually doing unboxing in here. You'll see me do that in the upcoming video. It got dark out. I was at my storage unit, the light bulb's out. I was actually standing in here unboxing right at this height not on my knees or nothing but right here the light was lighting it up very nicely and uh was doing some nighttime unboxing this is basically this is serving as a mobile office or mobile studio for me another thing that's really nice about the height is that i was able to get my six foot plastic tables in standing up so that means i can put them in a little bit later so i have some merchandise in here i can stand the six foot tables up back here and with that extra three inches it gives you a nice clearance there this is really, really nice. I like, I like the tall roof. All right, the van itself is not terribly wide. It's a little bit on the skinny side, which I say is nice. I mean, when you're driving down the road, you don't have to worry so much about it, like, you know, you know, being like the lines like right next to it. Uh, it's just like a normal car width. Also very nice for being in my driveway here because we actually have some room between the vehicles. So, um, you know, just for practicality for me, uh, I like that it's a little bit skinnier. I would rather have it skinny and tall than wide and low. Another nice thing about these doors, check this out. They go, that's, they go that far open. Well, anyways, that option was built in at the dealer. It's not something probably I would add, but when you're at the flea market and your booth's over here and you don't want the door to like basically obscure the view of the back of your thing, you can open it like this. I, I, I mean, there's a practicality there for a flea market use. Now, your booth's out here, and you can, I don't know, get around here a little bit easier. Kind of cool. Not a big deal, but just kind of cool. You see up top there, there's a camera. I'm going to show you what that does in a second. I mean, backup cameras are nothing new on cars, but this one does something special. I think it's like it's a secret, you know, like a secret weapon or superpower. Let's call it a superpower. 
pretty cool. I'll show you that in a second. Another option I got was like chrome. There's some chrome accents on the grill here. Just makes it look kind of cool and hip, but something I would never, ever, ever pay for. All right, another option I probably didn't need. I don't know, kind of happy it came with automatic doors. Something that came uh, standard on our Honda Odyssey minivan we had years ago. And actually that had two doors, one on either side. The kids love it. It's great. When we had car seats, it was a life changer. But on this car, probably just something that's going to break over time. Um, you know, I don't have like ultra, ultra high faith in Mercedes engineering. They build a beautiful car, but do they build it to last? We're going to have to see. Hondas, yes, built to last. Mercedes, not one of the things they're known for. All right, you can see under the seats here, there's a pretty good amount of space, which I've used to shove a couple of the items that I use at the flea market. And uh, I'll probably get some bins or something that are that size that they could slip under and put some rubber on the bottom uh, so I can utilize that a little better. Cup holders right here. Of course, we see the hand sanitizer. That's an essential at the flea market. The seats back here, very nice. It got some armrests. They crank up at different levels so you can get it to, you know, whatever's comfortable. One on each side. All three seats do recline a bit. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but there it is in the furthest reclined position. Not super, super reclined, but you know what? Even this much would give you some relief on a long trip if you've been sitting upright for many, many hours. I know that'll be appreciated. Just a nice feature. All three of them do that. Another thing that uh, really, really, really they should have put in here, and it's an option I think that they didn't put on this car, accessibility handles. Really need something here. This step right here is very high. All right, that's quite quite a distance here. Um, yeah, or one back here or both just to get there and pull yourself up. Otherwise, I'm grabbing onto this. At some point, that trim's going to come off. The kids will probably grab onto this. At some point, that I might pop out. Um, I think about that stuff, guys. I really do. All right, come over to the driver's side here. The door has a two levels of storage here. See that one, two? I wouldn't say this car has tons and tons of storage, but the doors do carry quite a bit. Both the driver and passenger side have that. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Lots of controls here for seat position, seat warmer, windows, rear view mirrors. Like most cars, modern day cars, we have a push button start very nice just go back to this real quick this is very convenient right here as well you just press the button and the mirrors roll in see that that's cool not a big deal not something i really would have paid extra for but it came with the car and you know when i'm at the flea market it's nice just to pull those in so you know the guy next to you pulling in doesn't clip it uh, because i think there are cameras in those mirrors and they're probably expensive everything mercedes is expensive all right, just to give you kind of a show here, it's got a lot of amenities on here. Cruise control, and this is an adaptive cruise control, which is cool. You can set the cruise control, and then you just press up or down to make it go one mile an hour faster. So if you're going 65, you say, I want to go 68. Give it three little taps up, and you're, now you're going to be going 68. All right, pretty nice. Nothing too fancy here. Check this out. It's got a bunch of switches. Those are for aftermarket stuff, so if you want to have what's called an upfitter, um you know put extra stuff on there those are extra areas they can install switches to control the, the accessories air conditioning heater controls here nothing too special this is uh very interesting here this is um i forget 10 inch screen or something big old screen with all the controls here so i got phone you know navigation radio media car info um, settings for the car it's, it's it's they try to make it like a cell phone app here so you have a lot of controls over you know how your how your car functions for you couple cup holders here two 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 and two so we basically have eight cup holders up in the front here but a glaring a glaring shortfall of the design in this car the big one right here does not fit a Gatorade bottle. Come on, you guys. That's one of the essentials. That would have been a deal breaker had I known. Just kidding. My phone is actually taping this video. Otherwise, I would just show you. I would, you know, demonstrate this right here. This slot is for cell phones. There's one on each side. It's got a rubber grip inside. So when you slide it in, it kind of holds it nice and snug. It doesn't slip out when you're driving. Up here, you've got a compartment up here 
This is a wire-free charging station, so if you basically put your phone on that mat and your phone supports that tech, then it will just charge. But if not, you've got three USB-C ports there for charging phones or other devices. Up top here, we've got a little bit more storage. So you see right here, this area right here is nice. You can stick some stuff up there and we've got a handle for, well, I don't know what, because by the time you're high enough to reach this handle, you're already in the car. It's not gonna help you get in and out. They should put handles lower. That's another thing that I will probably add. Here we've got a little space right here for, well, you see right here, I got some face masks, gloves, a battery backup, and some hand sanitizer. So, you know, the essentials. Here's something else that's pretty cool. This right here uh, is the lights, right? And you see they are LEDs, so they kind of like dim on and then dim off. I don't know, I just think that's neat. This one right here, a fair amount of light. And again, it kind of incrementally raises the brightness. And then this one right here are those back there. On and off at the touch of a button. It's kind of nice. That's a nice little feature, a nice little attention to detail. This took some getting used to. The parking brake, man, at the dealership, because they don't come with you because of COVID, you know? I was hunting all over for it. It's right here. That's the parking brake. You just pull it, releases the parking brake, and you push it to implement it. Um, and then the gears are this right here. You either push it down or drive. You press it all the way up for reverse, or you press the button in right here for park. And you hear when you put in park, it puts the parking brake on. Um, but this is what's neat right here. When you put in reverse, this is your rear view camera right here. And this really is one of the features that I love most about the car. I mean, rear view camera is something I think you can't do without in these days. I even have it on my truck, which is 10 years old. But this right here is a game changer. Um, this is a 360 view. There's cameras on the front, back, and each side of the car. The software stitches them together so you can get a full 360 view around your car and that will tell you like you know if you're gonna bump something this has been incredible I've parked inside of a parking garage and this gave me so much so much better of an idea because driving a car this size it's pretty intimidating really it's uh it's not that big of a vehicle but I'm just not used to it and it's it's takes some getting used to so having that feature makes me a lot more confident in driving especially in a garage where there's pillars and other cars and tight spaces but also at the flea market when there's boxes and people everywhere and sometimes it's dark uh, there's sensors all around this thing is jam-packed with technology which again makes me a little nervous because it is mercedes technology i don't have the utmost faith in them like i do honda but um safety wise incredible it has like braking if the cars are stopping ahead of you and you don't see it, it's got the auto braking um if you drift off into the lanes the car pushes you back over um it's got some stuff in there that you know who knows if that'll ever come in handy or needy uh but if it does then it could save an accident or a life you never know it purrs like a kitten all right so i showed you all the features not all the features but the main features and some of the stuff i like about the car and some of the stuff i don't like about the car minor gripes but i'll tell you the probably the best thing about this car is the drive this thing handles amazingly it's a big car i think the car weighs five thousand not a car the van weighs five thousand pounds but it it does not feel like it it's nimble and um it's responsive the steering wheel feels great it's got a leather wrap steering wheel it's just the right size it feels great and oh wait for that ambulance to go by do, 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 do. all right and then we're gonna pull out and this thing i wouldn't say it's like it's not gonna win any drag races or nothing but it's not slow it's uh got ample power let's just put it that way ample power i believe it's like 190 horsepower 325 pound feet of torque that's the diesel engine six cylinder diesel it's got some oomph it's enough power to pull a trailer without even like really feeling it that's that's very good power 
when I had this thing loaded up in full, I, it didn't handle at all differently than when it's empty. Like it still it doesn't roll. It doesn't. The body doesn't roll like this, and it goes and it stops. The thing handles like a dream. This I can't wait to get on the road and take a road trip in, and that's what I bought it for. It smells so clean. It does. It's got that new car smell because it's a new car. Driving a Sprinter is not like the other cars. This is like the best. This is the most luxurious ride uh, available in a cargo van. And it's kind of weird to say luxurious ride in a cargo van, but it is true. Look at the turn radius on this thing. Crazy tight. Crazy tight. That's another thing that they're known for. And another, one thing my truck does not do well is make a U-turn. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this video. I think this right here is probably going to be uh, how I end a lot of videos, sitting right here in the back of the truck, whether it's full of stuff or not. Um, anyways, really, really exciting part of our story right here in getting this new van. This is going to be a big part of what we're able to do in the future. You know, we we picked the silver color because, that, well, that's it looks cool. It's easy to clean. It's also Raiders color, right? Silver and black. But um, but it's got to have a name just to make it, you know, like everything complete. It needs a name. So we're going to ask you guys to help us with that. So comment below if you would. Um, think of a great name for it. All right. I don't know what that's going to be. Uh, I prefer a masculine name. Jana was saying, nah, it should be a feminine name. But I'm going to leave that up to you guys to find out now that you've become a little acquainted with the vehicle. Let us know what you think I should call it. And uh, put it in the comments below. Okay, that'll be fun. And we'll read them in our live. And, and maybe we'll pick one uh, at some point here in the next couple weeks. All right, that'll be fun. I'll tell you, I really did toil with this decision. I'd say it's probably a year and a half in the making. I think a year and a half is w ago is when I bought the trailer for 1100 bucks, And the trailer's f it's functioned great. It served us well. But obviously, many limitations with an open bed trailer, especially, especially when rain comes. But also just time and inconvenience with strapping, tarping, net all that kind of stuff this van is a game changer but also being able to put the girls in here hit the road cruising at 75 no problem it drives like a like a dream really it drives so nice being able to hit the road and see what adventures we can find outside my little stomping ground here who knows that's gonna open us up to a bunch of videos we hope in the future that's the plan you heard Jana mention it earlier in the video that's the plan um, Nothing definite right now because right now it's just about uh, getting through these weird times right now, you know, with COVID and everything and the lockdowns and just trying to get through that and we'll take the next chapter when it comes. But right now, this is good. This is big. This is exciting. And thank you so much for being on this adventure with us. Hey, real quick mention also two things, two other things that went into our decision to buy this Mercedes and buy it new. First of all is the gas mileage. All right, this car reportedly gets 22 miles to the gallon. That's incredible. That's better than my pickup truck by far. My truck, pickup truck actually doesn't get very good gas mileage at all. It's one of the few things about the Honda that I don't like. 22 miles a gallon in this, mostly because it's a diesel. Uh, the di this diesel van is rated the best gas mileage I think of any cargo van on the market. That was kind of important because I do plan to keep this for a very long time and I do plan to put a lot of miles on, especially on the road if we get out there. Number two is the resale value. These Mercedes Sprinters have tremendous resale value, which is especially frustrating when you're trying to find a used one, which I was. Finding one with the back seat's nearly impossible, but the resale value on these is incredible. You can pack some miles on these things and sell them for a very high rate, like ridiculously high. So buying one new, gonna cost you more than it should. Selling it, you know, used, is gonna be a little bit beneficial. It takes kind of the sting out of the purchase price because the Mercedes is more expensive than the other ones. But the Ford was a close second. I uh, Ford is a sweet ride as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you learned anything from this, great. If you're just excited to see what I got, awesome. Um, I appreciate you watching. And I just want to say thank you everyone for watching our videos, you know, our silly videos that we put out. Thank you so much for watching it. We really appreciate you. It's a blessing to be able to do this. It's a blessing to be able to have such a nice ride. And I'm very grateful and very thankful and very humble to have this experience. And it's mostly because you guys make it happen. So I just want to say thank you so much, so much, so much. All right, next video will be out soon. I've got a bunch of them taped, but I had to complete this introduction before you see me driving around in a Sprinter van, right? So um, next video will be out soon. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts.
Speaking of locker nuts, what do you think? What do you think right there? A big old magnet. Locker nuts. That's what I'm thinking right there. But a magnet so I can take it off. My homeowners can't write me up. Boom. 